news coming up and some news today there is a japan expo in paris which is kind of confusing by the way but we got a few playable builds for street fighter 6 now coming up and one of the playable builds is at this event right now i think it's starting up tomorrow but there are some people that are able to play the game already before they're setting up the event i had someone kind enough to message me up and ask me if there's anything i wanted to test out we'll just say he's a mysterious soldier for now but it was you know short notice so i wrote up a few things i didn't want to like give him because i have like a wall scroll list of things i want to test out for street fighter 6 but i don't want to take up too much of his time because you know he's able to play the game the one i'm just testing stuff for me so i just wrote up some things off the top of my head for us which we're gonna go over today now this build that they're playing at the japan expo right now is still the same build that we've been seeing since we got gameplay for street fighter 6 so it's still the one with you know ryu chun li jamie and luke and not the new build that we saw during that capcom showcase in japan where they had that guile build with like you know the visual damage uh, that we saw and we know there's like a big difference between those two builds so this is at this point this is a very old build i would say considering what street fighter 6 might be like right now with all the characters that they're they're working on okay so the first thing i asked was is there and by the way these questions that i asked some of these were already answered a lot of this is secondhand information and it's hard to you know get definite answers because there's like different answers for everything that people ask so i just wanted to like reassure and, and ask them again to test them out to make sure for sure the first question i asked if there was throw invincibility on back dashes for some reason i couldn't have any hard footage on just like showing that because i think that's very important with the oki game and it is confirmed that backdashes are throw invincible. Thank goodness. Now the next question I have, but this wasn't tested, was if someone does a drive impact on you and perfectly times it as a meaty, are you able to get out of it in some way besides doing like, you know, uh, an OD? Because when you get put into burnout, you have no options. You have not, you can't use parry, right? You can't use your own drive impact. You can't do your OD moves because that requires drive gauge. The only thing you can do at that point is a super, if your super has invincibility. So if someone does a perfect drive impact on you, that would be really scary. This actually caused a problem in Street Fighter 4 because they had to make backdashes strike invincible as well because since everyone has access to focus attack and it requires no resources in that game, you could just do it for free. And there was a lot of hard knockdowns in Street Fighter 4 as well. People were learning meaty timings with their folks attack fully charged, which guard breaks in case you guys don't know it's unblockable. To remedy that situation, Capcom made backdashes not only throw invincible, but strike invincible. And that caused a lot of problems with the game. It, 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 was, a, it was way too good as a defensive mechanic at that point. I'm really curious on how they're going to handle that. In Street Fighter 6, they obviously don't want to make backdashes strike invincible again just to deal with drive impact. That would uh, make backdashes too strong. Because we want some form of Oki, you know? Another thing too, if you guys haven't noticed with the more recent footage, I think it was Max's footage, they're showing with a counter hit, at least with a counter hit with Ryu's back, heavy punch is command normal. Causes a lot of hit stun, so much that he actually combos into drive impact. So it's like a two hit combo, drive impact, which sounds really powerful. Uh, I would imagine characters that do punish counters that would obviously have enough hit stun, like Chun-Li's forward heavy kick would definitely have enough hit stun probably to combo into drive impact. And that's something we definitely have to test in the beta because if you're able to combo the drive impact, that means that if you're even remotely close to the corner, you're gonna wanna do that because it's gonna cause a crumple and you're gonna be able to continue your combo anyways. Or let's say somebody whiffs a DP and they're near the corner, well, that's a guaranteed punish counter, so you can punish counter into drive impact, which also drains uh, your opponent's drive gauge. And then it splats them in the corner, you crumple them, and you continue your combo from there. There are a lot of questions on these mechanics that can easily be abused, or would be very clear-cut, like, optimal, compared to just doing a regular combo. So, I'm sure there's a lot of things that are going to change. Once again, we're looking at a very old build of Street Fighter VI right now at this point of time so okay here comes a spicy one you guys aren't gonna like this i had to ask this because some people mentioned this before and this may be worried and i wanted to confirm this and now i'm gonna be continuing to be worried the question i asked is in modern controls 
are you able to manually do the special move still? So in other words, do you still need to use the special move button? Or if I'm playing Ryu, for example, can I do core circle forward punch and I'll get the fireball? And my mysterious soldier confirmed, yes, you can indeed still do special moves manually in modern controls in this current build. Now, before everyone panics, this, in this, in my opinion, this is a bad thing. I don't like this. On one side, I understand why Capcom would do this because they're like, oh, well, if you're learning how to play the game with classic controls, uh, you're able to slowly like, hey, say you can only do a fireball, but you can't do DPs. And you learn to do your fireball manually every now and then instead of using one button. Then, you know, it fits the training wheels. But at the same time, I don't like it because modern controls is supposed to have an inherent weakness. That's very clear, and that's why I liked Modern Controls in the first place. It can be used to learn the game, but it shouldn't be used at the competitive level because there are certain things that could be abused, obviously. You would turn into an easy mode. Capcom has said a lot in interviews that they don't want Modern Controls to be an easy mode, right? Well, if you have access to most of everything in Modern Controls, then it clearly would be, right? One example is that Chun-Li in Modern Controls does not have Spinning Bird Kick. I believe it's Spinning Bird Kick, not Lightning Legs, but I'm pretty sure it's spinning bird kick. Uh, she doesn't have it in her direction special moves because mono controls only have four special moves, right? With the one button. Well, that means that you'll be able to charge down and press up kick with Chun-Li and still have access to all of her moves, including the one button specials. What about a character like, let's say Akuma was in Street Fighter VI. Think about all the moves he would have and the weakness of him using modern controls because we would assume Akuma would have a giant list of specials, but you'd have access to them still by doing, you know, the, the motions. Now, I have to stress this point that this is a very old build of Street Fighter VI at this time. Maybe they just didn't implement, you know, not being able to do the special moves. And when this game comes out, it won't be like that. But at this point, I don't like that, personally. I want there to be as many weaknesses as possible for modern controls. I want it strictly for people that just want to hop into the game and play it or enjoy the story mode or for people that are not interested in playing competitively and they just want to do all the cool stuff. I do not want modern controls to be a decision that you have to make at a competitive level. I don't want there to be like, I play this game competitively and <laughs> I use modern controls because it suits my style. I don't like that. I think that's going to cause a lot of problems. I think it's <laughs> there's going to be a lot of complaints and it's going to it's going to become a balancing issue. And I think that's just a, a headache that's easily avoidable when you when you try to do that, you know, because it comes back down to the dumbing down the game argument and all that. But I personally think that they're not gonna allow you to do this in the future. Another thing about modern controls uh, that's clarified as well is that when you do your, for reuse case for modern controls, when you do your standing normals, cause you have light, medium, heavy in modern controls. Ryu does his punch attacks when he's standing and when he's crouching, he does his kick attacks. And he also has access to some of his command normals as well. You don't have access to them all, but for example, if you do forward heavy with Ryu, he does his hop kick, which is forward heavy kick. Uh, so even though Ryu's standing normals are punches, if you do forward heavy button, he does his hop kick. So that's in modern controls. If you do your forward medium punch, he still does his overhead. So that was really interesting. I also asked, do you have control over the strength of your specials? Which would be another weakness of modern controls. Since there's a special move button, I would figure that they would all be default to the heavy strength, like heavy fireball, heavy DP. And that matters, right? It, it matters to change the speed of your fireball or to use the dragon punch that's at a specific range of how your opponent jumps and all that. So that'd be another limitation of modern controls. But once again, since you're able to do the special moves manually, traditionally, uh, you're able to determine the strength. So if you do core circle forward light, you'll get the light punch fireball, etc. Once again, I feel like this is bad. This can be abused. So right now with modern controls, the obvious weakness at this time, if this is how it's going to be when the game comes out, is that you don't have access to all your normals and command normals. That much is definitely obvious. You're still restricted to what kind of attacks you have standing and crouching. And if there's some type of overlap, like you have two command normals that are forward medium kick and forward medium punch, for example, you'd only get one of those two. So that is going to be a weakness for sure. But we'll have to see how they, how they deal with um, how they deal with this in the future. Modern control should not be playable in range. Otherwise, Capcom will be able to play. I am very certain that modern controls will be available in ranked. 
but we'll see. If I were to guess, they would definitely have it. Put it this way, if they if modern controls were not allowed in ranked, then even Capcom would be admitting that it's an easy mode. And that goes against what Capcom is saying, right? It's supposed to be a different style. So if it's if it's just a different style, then it should be allowed in ranked based on Capcom's wording in their interviews. So we'll have to see. Remember, this game is a long way to go, guys. It's not till next year. You know, we shouldn't go, you know, raising the pitchforks and torches right now. But, you know, I am obviously concerned. Hey guys, sorry for the interruption. Future Vesper here. I just want to add some extra clarity to my stance on modern controls right now. Just in case like an argument blows up on YouTube or something. I want to make it very crystal clear that I don't care if somebody who uses modern controls is able to beat somebody on classic controls. In fact, I want that to happen so that the person who's playing on modern controls is like, wow, I'm having fun, I'm enjoying this game. I want to take it to the next level and use classic controls. I don't care if you can use modern controls and ranked. I, in fact, I want that as well because once again, it'll give people a taste of the competitive factor in Street Fighter and then want to move on to the next level. That's what I think modern controls should be intended for in the first place is kind of like your training wheels that kind of get your feet wet in the game. My issue with it specifically is when a player who's already experienced in the game, let's take a professional player, using modern controls on purpose because it seems to be the optimal way to play whatever specific character. Hey, this character is better on modern controls than classic controls. I'm really worried about that from happening. I don't want that to happen. And if that doesn't happen, then I don't care. Then modern controls is fine. That's basically my concern. I don't want it to be abused. I don't want it to be something that gives a player a competitive edge because of the way it works. I want modern controls to mostly be something that has benefits, but also downsides to it as well. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Okay, future Vesper out. The next question I asked was a little complex. I asked to test the juggle states in this game on airborne counter hits and punish counters. I'm sure you guys have noticed by now, there has been a lot of strange juggle interactions that when you hit somebody in the air and you get a punish counter doesn't really matter what you hit them with they're basically put into almost a free juggle state where you can even just juggle with a light punch where anything goes it's very similar to Street Fighter 5 when someone does some type of air trajectory move whether it's jumping off a wall or Oral's double jump etc they're put into a free juggle state right or Dawson's using his v-skill fly and it seems to exist in Street Fighter 6 as well I'm asked to test counter hits specifically to see if the counters have anything to do with things he said he tried testing it it doesn't seem like counter a counter hit will put you in the juggle state it seems to be just the punish counter but that obviously needs a lot of testing which is hard to do uh, in a public build another thing I wanted to test was the drive reversal I wanted to know if you can drive impact a drive reversal or parry it or even throw it like in Street Fighter V because that's another thing I'm kind of concerned about. I feel like drive reversal is going to be pretty strong in Street Fighter VI considering it uses the drive gauge rather than your super meter so you're not really sacrificing anything. Whereas in Street Fighter V, you know, if you do a, a V reversal, you're sacrificing your V trigger at least until the end of the round. So I feel like drive reversal will be strong. but. If everyone has access to a parry, if everyone has access to a drive impact, uh, there is some be some very easy option selects you can do. A button into drive impact, they would do drive reversal and you get a full punish or drive impact because you basically armor it and you hit them. We see this a lot in Street Fighter V, characters like Gil or Ryu parrying the drive reversal or someone using armor like Akuma players would do their V skill one armor, the V reversal, and they would get a full punish, right? So that's something I want to test and unfortunately he did not have time to test that for me but it's, it's a question I have off the top of my head. And I'm, I'm sure people who are watching this video are going to be able to play Street Fighter 6 at some point since there's a lot of events coming up so if anyone knows the answers to these please let me know in the comments below I appreciate that. The final question I was able to ask and get tested and this is something we talked about on my stream last time when I was going over the big drive rush mechanic. I wanted to confirm if drive rush actually did give you extra frame advantage on your normal attacks because it did say in the move list that it enhances uh, the next button, right? We wanted to know specifically what that was. And we saw Jamie do an overhead, do a drive rush into overhead 
and combo a crouching light punch afterwards. And some people didn't say that as a confirm that it gives you more frame advantage because it was a counter hit overhead. But I was able to ask to specifically test reuse drive rush overhead and see if you can combo a light attack after. And he said it was confirmed that he did drive rush overhead with Ryu and he was able to link a crouching light kick afterwards. So that is very sick. Dry Rush is going to have some really cool mix-up potential that you're going to able to do like maybe a block screen or a combo and reset it mid combo, go for a reset overhead, kind of like you're playing Balrog or something and still be able to continue the combo after an overhead to open somebody up. There is a lot of potential with that that I'm really excited for. And it really opens up, like I said, a lot of people are concerned with the, the combo structure in this game and the saying it's too short, but I, I feel like this drive rush system gives a lot of freedom. So I'm super excited about that, that that's confirmed. So the next thing I wanna talk about is the two or technically three upcoming events where we'll probably see some more footage and more information. The first obviously was the uh, Japan Expo in Paris, which I just mentioned. And the next one is at Comic-Con. Uh, this is really interesting. So Capcom mentions they're going to be at, at Comic-Con, right? And they'll once again have a playable build here. This will be at the end of the month on July 21st, 24th before EVO. But this wording is very suspicious here. It says for Street Fighter 6, you bring the shades, we'll bring the street. Play Street Fighter 6 at San Diego Comic-Con 22 from July 21 to 24th or get in the rhythm of our other activities throughout the week. Guys, what does this mean? Why would they mention shades and rhythm? Are they just low-key hinting DJ? Like, are we going to get a DJ announcement at this event? It's so confusing which character is going to be announced next. First, we thought it was going to be Kimberly since Capcom hinted Kimberly. Now they're hinting DJ at Comic-Con and Comic-Con does have history of hinted characters or uh, announced characters at these events. It's very possible. The longer we wait, the more likely we're gonna get more character announcements because even though this game is coming out next year, due to the leaks, there are a lot of characters to announce. It's just very strange they would straight up say this. We know DJ is wearing sunglasses. <laughs> we literally see DJ in the opening cutscene for the first reveal gameplay trailer. Watch it be Cammy. That's what I'm saying. We thought it was Kimberly. I was so certain. And then we got a Guile announcement. <laughs> I mean, Capcom's just mixing it up. I think Capcom is the one that leaked this, right? <laughs> they're playing it on and they're just fooling around with us. The hands-on demo at this event is going to be once again the same old playable build with Luke, Jamie, Ryu, and Chun-Li. And hopefully we can get some more footage then. The third and final event where I can almost 100% guarantee, let's say 99.9% .9 chance, we will indeed get a Street Fighter 6 announcement at EVO at the latest. Street Fighter 6 will also have a playable build at EVO on August 5th to 7th. EVO needs no introduction and there will be a Sony booth. Once again, it's the same old build, Ryu, Chun-Li, Luke, and Jamie. I'm pretty disappointed by this at this point because I feel like all the testing that we're gonna do is for nothing because that Guile build, like I said, felt very different, especially with the battle damage included. And I'm actually worried by this point that when they do announce a beta test, we're gonna get this, this public build, this really old build where a lot of things are gonna change. If you guys remember the old Street Fighter V builds, a lot of stuff changed from them as well, including the combo structure. So it was like a different game back then. We had Terra throws. It was madness. Capcom will also be sharing Street Fighter VI announcements during EVO. It pretty much confirmed here that there will indeed be a Street Fighter VI announcement. I'm sure you guys aren't surprised by this. If we don't hear about any characters up to this point, I wouldn't be surprised if Capcom goes nuts and reveals two, maybe three characters. Anything more than three would be madness. The most characters that Capcom has ever announced at EVO in terms of Street Fighter V was three characters with Poison, Honda, and Lucy. Hopefully we won't get an Abigail situation again, uh, but I'm sure we'll probably hear multiple characters for Street Fighter 6, including Kimberly. At this point, I think Kimberly is a very, very high chance. They still have to announce a brand new character besides Jamie and Luke, of course. Once again, Kimberly was the only like officially hinted character besides, I guess, DJ now uh, from the trailer, which was shown at the very end. Plus. Uh, Street Fighter V is an official CPT event for EVO, which is awesome. So we're going to have a lot of international presence there, which I'm personally really excited for. Which character are you guys excited for them to announce, realistically? Which characters would be ideally the best? I think Kimberly, 
cami i think a cami announcement i really want to see badly i think everyone really wants ken yeah just having ken being announced would be really good because it would kind of put those 4chan leaks to rest because then that means we'll have ken on the website and we'll get to see his in-game model which everyone's really excited for and we get to see a brief description of his storyline and we're just waiting to see his likes and his di what if his dislike is ryu <laughs> everyone wants that violent ken man yeah, I think Ken is definitely the most anticipated character right now, but I do still feel like Kimberly is going to be a very, very popular character. Anyways, guys, thanks for helping with my live video. I appreciate it. And if there's any questions that people want to ask that are they're still wondering that want to be tested in this old Street Fighter 6 build, you know, let me know in the comments below. And if I get the opportunity to ask someone to test something for me again, or they or something maybe that I can answer for them right now, be sure to leave a comment and then I can ask it next time I get this opportunity.